Probably one of the best traditional climbs in the whole of Dovedale, if not in the whole of the Peak District, is a route called Eye of the Tiger, which blasts up the centre of this absolutely awesome wall. Climbed quite a long time ago by Ron Fawcett. A couple of years ago, Tom Randall straightened it out, climbed the direct start hard and the direct finish even harder. So he made an absolutely mega, huge pitch straight up the wall. So I came by myself, first of all, abseil down, had a little look at it from the abseil rope. I could see that it was my kind of climbing. Lots of the ledges, loads of features. Checked out the gear and then I just thought, right, I wonder if I can get someone to belay me. Persuaded a friend to come out and just went for it. And it was absolutely perfect. Everything fell into place. The bottom few moves are probably the scariest because you don't have very much protection down there and you, if you fall off, you're going to fall down a little bit of a nasty drop. So we had a bouldering mat, which may have helped, not quite sure. But you start off on these small edges, you get into a, a tiny little undercut with your right hand, which is good if you pull right into it. And from there, you reach across, you can clip a thread it's not a really mega thread, but I think it would probably be okay. A couple more stiff pulls on undercuts and side pulls and leads you to this half decent hold. Place a wire which isn't too bad and you span out left to a bit of an edge. I got out to there and there's a couple of monos which I'd convinced myself was going to be good enough to pull on. But suddenly this heel hook position just appeared and I stuck my heel on and started making up this move and it was absolutely mega, really cool experience. Then after that it's just all about endurance, keeping on going, placing lots of little wires, the gear is generally pretty good. And then you're moving into the crux of Eye of the Tiger itself. Now this is really interesting climbing, it's really side pulley. You've got really weird holds which maybe don't feel as though they're going to work in that kind of orientation. You're kind of moving your body from one side to the other. But when it actually all comes into, into position, it's great moves. You get this kind of um, pocket which you have to get as a bit of an undercut and you stretch up from there to a handle which has got a thread in it. Somebody's placed a thread in there. It actually makes it harder to hold and from there get your feet up. Long, long stretch which I found that a hard move. Really long stretch to an okay hold and then you're pedalling. Good holds, straight up, peg safety, happy. Having clipped that peg, you've got a few more tricky moves to get up to this horizontal break. Now it's not as good as what you want this break. It's got some okay gear, but it's a bit slopey. And then you have to move across to the left for what is probably the hardest move of the route. A long stretch up to get a, a, a mono actually, but I couldn't really use it as a mono. Build your feet, reach out left to a, a tiny side pull edge, and then again feet up and a long stretch to another horizontal. But you've got to be really accurate with this because the, the edges are not really very good. You've got to get them just right. A couple more hard moves and then at last the good holds start to come. And then it gets easier and easier and finally you're in. It was a lot more pumpy than I thought it was going to be. 
but it's so different when you've got the weight of the rope underneath you and you, you're hanging on a bit tighter than what you wanted to and got a rack of gear to place. I mean, I hadn't really, hadn't really worked it, so I was improvising a little bit as I went along. But it, yeah, it went really well. It's so nice to climb it in these dry, cool conditions in the sun. It's like a total treat for the senses.